Are you having problems applying your stencils to fake skin? That's exactly what we're going to be covering in this video. Hey, welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm Ben Fisher, the owner and artist right here at Inkrush. If you're wanting to learn how to tattoo in the fastest time possible, make sure that you're subscribed and have the bell clicked so you're notified when I upload. So let's get straight into details. Obviously, when you're learning how to tattoo using fake skin to practice on, they can be really enjoyable to learn on or an absolute nightmare. And there's a few reasons why. One, the quality of the mats you're using are rubbish and they're just cheap shit off eBay or Amazon. And two, the stencils are a complete nightmare to apply. Well, in today's video, I'm going to address both of these problems. And also, I'm going to give you an unmissable trick that will guarantee you have the best chance of getting a flawless stencil. Now, the first thing is the quality of the mats. Now, I've tried and tested countless different mats out there and concluded that there's only a few even worth entertaining. One of which is the company Real Skin. Now, like most things that are higher quality, they usually come at a steep price. Well, I feel that anybody learning needs to get good deals. So I've teamed up directly with Real Skin and come up with three packages that are now available directly on their site. I have an affiliate link down in the description that will take you to the site and also lets them know that you've come from the Ink Rush channel. This gets you a huge discount and also gives me a few quid as a thank you. So definitely go check out the link below. Next is applying the stencil and this is where many people struggle or do it wrong. Well, maybe it's not wrong as such, but there's an easier way. So how do we apply the stencils to the mats? Well, we do it in a few different stages. First stage, give your mat a good clean. Either we're washing up liquid or just cleaning wipes, but make sure that there's no oil or grease or anything on the surface of your mat. Okay, so after your mat's had a real good clean, the next step as recommended on real skin is to get a little bit of talc, just baby talc and powder or any talc. You only need a little bit. Just rub it over the surface where you're going to apply your stencil. Then get whichever stencil solution that you use. You only need a tiny bit. Give it a rub over the area where you're wanting to apply your stencil. And the talc helps thicken it up and make it go tacky. Then get your stencil, put it in place. Don't press down just yet. Now I have an important tool that I use when applying stencils and this magic tool gives even pressure. Now when you're pushing your stencil onto the mats or skin, sometimes you have to lift the hand back off and then push it back down. How many of you have tried to apply a stencil and then when you've removed it, you find that it's created like double lines. Now this is obviously from the stencil being pushed down, then it's lifted up slightly and moved and then been applied again. Even the small gaps between your fingers can sometimes cause problems. So what can we use that fixes all these problems in one go? Magic tool, car sponge. Then use this to press down, which applies even pressure and it stops your stencil lifting up and moving around. Give it a good press. Then remove the paper and you should be left with a really clear nice stencil now give it ideally overnight to dry and it's gonna go nowhere if you're in a rush get a hair dryer and blow dry it for a good 10 minutes after that your stencil should be perfect and ready to go now I want you to give this a try and then Give your feedback down in the comments below. Also, if you're new to tattooing and want to learn correctly in an order that makes sense, then please check out the links in the description and go check out my free 30-day course. I'll see you all in the next videos. Cheers.